What's up, YouTube family? Pastor Scar here, coming at you with a highly requested one. I've been doing the NF journey for a little while now. Not too long, I'm still pretty new to it. But one song in particular has come up numerous times from numerous people, Mansion by NF. There's no video clip, but I'm keen to have a listen. We're going to do a live reaction right now. I'm already looking forward to it because so far, every single track that I've heard of this guy has been nothing short of genius and has really hit me in the feels. So let's see if this one is any different or if it's in a similar light. I have no idea what to expect going into this, but we're going to enjoy it. Also, in case you didn't know, I stream on twitch.tv forward slash Pastor Scar. You can always join me there if you want to hang out. We play all kinds of games and all kinds of beautiful things. But if you ever want to hang out, that's where I'll be. All right, let's jump straight on into this one, okay? So uh, here we go. I've got it set up on another scene, ready to hit play. And uh, here it is. This is Mansion by NF. Insidious is blind inception. What's reality with all these questions? Feels like I missed my alarm and slept in, slept in. Broken legs, but I chase perfection. These woes are my blank expression. My mind is a home I'm trapped in, and it's lonely inside this mansion. Stop. First of all, NF sounds like a female. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know it's obviously not him, but no, l legitimately though, like it's only just started. Obviously, NF's part of the song hasn't even started yet. And already this is deep, like a song called Mansion. Sometimes you expect a song called Mansion to be all about living the high life in, you know, a big house with fancy cars. And yet this one is talking about it's lonely inside this mansion. Like my, my home is a mind that I'm trapped in or, or something like that. Let's just back that up. It's lonely inside this mansion. My mind is a home that I'm trapped in. Yeah, exactly what it says. Like, I already know this is going to be deep, and we have only just begun. Let's get into it. I'm trapped in, and it's lonely inside this mansion. I can tell just from the image, bro. Yo, my mind is a house with walls covered in lyrics. They're all over the place. The songs in the mirrors written all over the floors all over the chairs and you get the uncut version of life when i go downstairs that's where i write when i'm in a bad place and need to release and let out the version of nf you don't want to see i put holes in the walls with both of my fists till they bleed and you might get a glimpse of how i cope with all this anger in me physically whoa hold up and, and also the lyric that just came up on the screen is just like this gets very deep very quick like i uh, the fact that he's talking about how this is the version of NF that you don't want to see, but, you know, this is what's happening with anger in me. Like, like this is a guy... Dude, one of the things that I talked about in a previous video when we were doing one of our reaction videos to NF, um, again, we're going through that that journey, is how transparent he seems to be. Like, he's he's very in touch with his feelings and what's going on, and, and he's okay to talk about it. And, man, he's just diving straight in on this one, being like... It's not the version of NF you want to see. Going with the idea of everyone loves the, you know, life is always rainbows and butterflies. But instead, he's just like, actually, there's stuff going on in my mind. There's stuff going on in my heart. Like, this is, I'm not always okay. And it, it sounds like it's about to get even more intense. I'm just going to back up that little bit. We're going to go from there. And let out the version of NF you, you don't, don't want to see. see. I put holes in the walls with both of my fists till they bleed. You might get a glimpse of how I cope with all this anger in me. Physically abused. Now that's the room that I don't want to be in. That picture ain't blurry at all. I just don't want to see it. And these walls ain't blank. I just think I don't want to see them. But why not? I'm in here, so I might as well read them. I gotta th that's really sad. He's talking about being physically abused and that that's not a blurry picture. I, I think what he's saying by that is it's not that he doesn't remember it or it's like, oh, did it, did it happen? He's like, it's clear as day. Like he knows it, but he doesn't want to be able to see it or remember it, but he obviously does and it's affecting him. And that's just a, a part of, of his story. Like, and now he's got to carry that around. Like, picture ain't blurry at all. I just don't want to see it. And these walls ain't blank. I just think I don't want to see them. But why not? I'm in here, so I might as well read them. I got to thank you for this anger that I carry around. Wish I could take a match and burn this whole room to the ground. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna burn this room right now. Somehow this memory for some reason just won't you down. Put me in the corner so you could see the fear in my eyes. Then took me downstairs and beat me till I screamed and I 
oh wow i just i just got chills fam like i until this point it was like physically abused could could be anyone anything it could be a bully at school it could be a whatever but now he's saying things like you put me in the corner like look at this all right backing it up um you used to put me in the corner so you could see the fear in my eyes that is an abusive parent that is literally what he's talking about then took me downstairs and beat me till i screamed and cried dude this song is depressing man but i'm so glad that he's talking about it hey because so many people have such experiences and don't talk about it and they, they're not open about that and this guy is just straight calling it out like insane downstairs and beat me till i screamed and i cried congratulations you'll always have a room in my mind but i'm gonna keep the door shut and lock the lyrics inside Insidious is blind inception. What's reality with all these questions? He's essentially saying that this is still affecting him as an adult today and tomorrow. Like it's it's still it's still in there. Like he's he's got that thing locked up in the sense that it's 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 internalized and like oh that's that's sad, bro. This song is sad. Feels like I missed my alarm and slept in. Slept in, slept in, slept in. But even this next line, ready? Broken legs, but I chase perfection. Broken legs, but I chase perfection. Like, I'm trying to be this thing, but I feel like I've had a rough gig. Oh, bro. Alright, let's go. This guy is such a wordsmith. It's ridiculous. He's obviously going with that analogy of the mansion and, and that kind of thing. But like, dude, how true a lyric for so many people. You know, my mind is a house with walls covered in pain. Covered in pain. See, my See, my problem is I don't fix things. I just try to repaint. It's the, I just cover it up. I just go, all right, here's another layer. And now because this layer is clean, I don't remember what's on the other side of it. I, I You know what I mean? It's like, I can't see it. It's not there. But really, it is still there. Like, it bro my problem is i don't try to fix things i just try to repaint dude this guy's self-reflection is insane and i hope he's had some really good counseling to overcome this since writing this song i don't know how old this song is exactly but bro that's heavy Dude, this is so full on. Like each part, each room is another is another emotion. It's another feeling. It's another experience. It's, it's more trauma. It's more heartache. It's another place that he is and that he lives and that he sleeps. You know what I mean? In the sense that you can't escape your own mind. Like it's it's there with you. Doesn't matter if you physically move house. That mansion goes with and and like he's talking about what it is that's on these walls. Like oh. Okay, he literally just started going into regrets about his mom. And then he just goes, I should stop now. I don't have enough room in the song. It's like, he's already going down one deep, deep rabbit hole here of expressing what he has been through in his childhood or growing up. And he's obviously got something else going on in terms of his mom. And he just kind of tapped in on that. That might even come up in a future song for all I know. Uh, again, I'm very new to this, but man, what a story. Like... This 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 guy, yeah, wow. But the fact that I struggle trying to find who I am, and I lie to myself and say I do the best that I can. Shrug it off like it ain't nothing, like it's out of my head. And get ticked off whenever I see it affecting my plans. And I regret watching these trust issues eat me alive. Mm. And at the rate I'm going, I'll probably still be there when I die. Can That's sad. That's sad right there. Like literally, like it's not that he's given up on himself, but it's him recognizing that like he's got trust issues from what he's been through and he's just honestly recognizing with himself that that's probably going to be the case like until he dies like that's that's wild um yeah man congratulations you'll always have a room in my mind the question is will i ever clean the walls off inside Oof. 
insidious as blind inception. What's reality? Oh, this song hurts my heart. I want to give the guy a hug. I just want to be like, are you okay, bro? Like, are you okay now? I know you weren't. But I hope, man. Like this would have broke so many people, and yet he's out there making making it work. Like, I appreciate that. I appreciate his honesty. So this part of my house, no one's been in it for years. I built a safe room, and I don't let no one in there. Cause if I do, there's a chance that they might disappear and not come back. And I admit, I am emotionally scared to let anyone inside. So I just leave my doors locked. You might get other doors to open up, but this door's not. Cause I don't want you to have the opportunity to hurt me. And I'll be the only person that I can blame when you desert me. I'm barricaded inside, so stop what? I legit, I, I, I kid you not, this, this was not a figure of speech, this was not expected, but I legitimately felt like I was about to cry just now. Like, that's so sad. And it's so common as well, like, he's, you know what he's saying, he's, he's, he's built a wall around himself, he's, he's got this safeguard up. Like, he's talking about how there's this room that no one else is allowed in because he doesn't want to be vulnerable, he doesn't want to open someone up, he doesn't want to open himself up, sorry, to anyone because he's afraid that they're going to hurt him because he's been hurt before in the past. And I think so many people have been there. I've been there. Like so many people have been there to different varying degrees. And to know that at the time of him writing this song, at least, is like, I'm just, I'm just straight not willing to, to open that door. Like, I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. Like he literally said, I'm barricaded inside. So stop watching. Like, oh man, that's, that's, that's a lonely place to be. And that's literally what the opening line of the song said like it's lonely inside this mansion like I, I i get why i get why because when you don't trust other people because you're scared you're gonna get hurt then you isolate and you stay away from others and you you put yourself in a different place or or in this case you lock yourself in that room and don't let others in and therefore that only compounds on itself and and next thing you know you you know you, you're surrounded by people but you still feel alone you know what i'm saying like Watch it. I'm not <laughs> I'm trapped here. God keeps saying I'm not locked. I chose this. I am lost in my own conscience. You know they shutting the world out ain't solving the problem. But I didn't build this house because I thought it would solve them. I built it because I thought that it was safer in there. But it's Whoa. not. I'm not the only thing that's living in here. Fear came to my house years ago. I let him in. Maybe that's a problem because I've been mm. dealing with this ever since. It's so like the the introspection is that the word i'm looking for like the, this guy looking into his own life and recognizing that as much as he feels like he's closed off this door and now he can be safe and be protected because he's just like you know i've done this to myself i've, I've put these walls up because i'm not letting someone get in i'm not going to let someone hurt me again that's what he's doing here but instead he said i'm not the only one in here and at first i was just like wait what and then the next line fear came into my house like that's that's what he's sharing this space with it's that fear. It's the fear to let other people in. It's the fear to be vulnerable. It's the fear to, to do that. And I guess one of his outlets is his lyrics in putting that into this song is maybe the door starting to slightly crack open just that little bit to let people know, hey, there actually is a door there. And this is actually what's going on for me. I'm not just trying to act like a tough guy. Like I, I'm, I'm legitimately scared to open that door and... Yeah, wow. Okay. All right. Let's play that a little bit again. Years ago, I let him in. Maybe that's a problem because I've been dealing with this ever since. Mm. I thought that he would leave, but it's obvious he never did. Wow. He must have picked a room and got comfortable and settled in. Now I'm in a position to either sit here and let him win or put him back outside where it came from, but I never can. Because in order to do that, I'd have to open the doors. Is that me or the fear talking? I don't know anymore. Nah, bro. Is that the end of the song? Please tell me there's another verse. Oh. I don't think there's another verse. Thanks for watching. There's no other verse. Bam. Okay. Okay. All right. We're jumping back over to the main scene real quick. I need to. I need to see you over there because, bro, I got an ad playing. Stop it. All right. That was a roller coaster and i am like itching at the seams to get into the next nf video i need this guy's life 
is a movie like it is it's it's not even just uh oh uh, here's some lyrics and like oh you know what rhymes with goat float all right sick i'll put that into a rhyme like that's not even it like it's just it's different it's unique and it's as raw as it comes and like if you can listen to that song and not be like hitting the feels what are you doing <laughs> you know what I mean? like that's that's hardcore man and and again my heart breaks for him at least for the stage of his life that he was in then i'm hoping that as we see the lyrics unfold in the later songs and the later years that there'll be some resolution to that maybe maybe he might even make reference to that locked room and say hey i actually have let someone in and and now we're able to support each other or whatever that might be you know what i mean like for me i got my wife and she's she's in that room with me and we we, we good but not everyone has that and, and i totally get that and like that's hard dude like that's actually that's actually so hard hey fam if you enjoyed this reaction video to nf's mansion please let me know in the comments down below um i'm gonna keep on doing these episodes because i know how popular they've been and i've know so many people have been commenting and saying hey when's the next one and, and can you can you kind of go through each episode if you will and we we started and we're going to keep on rolling through because it's 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 quite the adventure and I, i'm i'm curious to see where this goes because this is a man who's you know he's really he's really a wordsmith that's the only way that i can put it like the guy knows what he's talking about and he knows how to convey that through his lyrics and and i i think that he's incredibly gifted at his craft can i just say so with all that being said, if you want to hang out with me more often, feel free to join us on twitch.tv forward slash Pastor Scar. While you're here, leave a comment down below on what you thought or if there's something that you picked up on in the lyrics that I didn't, drop it in the comments down below. Um, the other thing that I just want to say real quick is that you matter because with a song like that and lyrics like that, that's pretty heavy. And this sounds to me like someone who could be even going through depression or, or suicidal thoughts or whatever that is. And I just want you to know, that whoever you are, wherever you are on YouTube right now, as you watch this, that you matter, that you are loved, that you are valuable. If you ever need someone to talk to about that or whatever, hit me up, reach out to our community. We're on Discord, we're on Twitch, we're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're, we're on all the things. Just type in Pastor Scar um, and we would love to support you, pray for you, care for you, however we can, because you matter and don't, don't go through this journey alone, all right? If you are stuck in a room of your mansion, and you need to to let the fear out and and you know let let love in or whatever that might look like you know we want to be there to, to help you in that process all right so i just want to just want to put it out there that you matter and uh hopefully i'll see you guys in our next youtube video for now just want to say god bless you guys god loves you guys and so do i and as always my friends okay love you bye